Hey y'all, so I got some new cards and I'm pretty excited about these ones. But uh, it's kind of help um, pray and stuff. I used to do this about a few, about a few years ago now. And then, but um, we got Jesus for everyday living, like words of Jesus. And then we got Psalms, 101 promises of Psalms. And there are scripture verses, so let's see how this goes. Lord God, I thank you for this time with the viewers, and I ask that you bless them, and maybe bring out a verse that would help them, Lord Jesus, and help me to say what it is that you'd like me to say, and I ask that you bless them, and that you keep a hedge of protection over them, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Holy Spirit, what is a, it's a good card for the viewer, please help me. Good scripture verse. But yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, woo, y'all. <laughs> it was a journey, that's for sure. Gave me a lot of time to think, too. I was, on, I was stuck on the bus for four hours, y'all. Maybe longer, I don't know. Things happen. You know what I'm saying? Things happen. <laughs> and, uh, gave me a lot of time to think, that's for sure. Let's see, we're we'll just trying to see which. This is, uh, right here is the, the deck of, uh, Psalms. And I got these cards on Amazon for like five bucks. Good deal. And it's, you know, they're, they're scripture verses, so, and you can always, if you, you know, go check it out, you know. Just type in, to be honest with you, I keep in Christian tarot cards. And these little things popped up, and they're freaking adorable. And it's good, because you can put, like, look at, you know, memori memorizing verses is good. It's not necessary, and sc scripture memorization should never be a form of combat, other than when you are um combating against the enemy so to speak you know what i mean because every word in the prom in the bible is a promise all right all right so we got psalms 28 7 the lord is my strength and my shield i should shall trust i shall trust him with all my heart Psalms 28.7. And I'll tell you if you want to snap a picture of it. And then these ones on the back have other words. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. I don't know what translation this is. But, uh, but yeah, God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And you know, that's really true. That's really true. God is a very compassionate God. And he's very merciful, c contrary to what some people will say about God. And it's like, yeah, no. Like, you know, no. God is very loving. He's very passionate. He has, he's just, he's amazing, man. And he loves you. Like, he loves you. He loves us while we're steadily sitting there saying he's not real. Going against him. And just doing what our flesh wants to do. He loves us. And he's like, I created you. And you don't even acknowledge me. But he's not a man. So he don't think like we do. But yeah. If you want to screenshot that one. Me and crap out my fingernails. <laughs> Me and fingernails. Alright, and let's pull from the Jesus deck. But that's sweet. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. I won't lie, that, that's definitely something I need to hear in this hour. So sweet. But yeah, these are good. Like, you can sit, do like I'm doing, you know. Or, you know, put it in your purse, put it in your wallet. Scripture verse through the day. Just to remember. 
memory memory is a good thing. And then if you have an issue with memory, why not, man? Just script remembering verses can help you. Or and then we're pulling from ooh. Words of Jesus for everyday living. Lord Jesus, what would you like to say to the viewer to help the viewer get through in this hour, Lord God? We thank you and we praise you for everything you've done, everything you are doing, and everything you will do. Jesus says, and these are red letter editions, which means that these are words that Jesus spoke. Your father already knows your needs. Luke 12 30. And he does. You know, God knows. There's a Bible verse, and it, in the Bible, it talks about like if, if a child asks their father for something, are they going to, did they say, did he say a snake? Like if he was hungry, are you, you going to give him a rock? No. You're going to feed your child a good parent would feed their child, and God is a good God. He knows your needs. He's going to take care of them. It, it's not up to man. It's up to God. God can touch anybody's heart any given moment, put the right people in your path any given moment. Even angels. The Bible tells us, be careful, because you could be entertaining angels in the unaware. And angels are not fleshly driven. They're angels. You know what I mean? And then John eleven twenty five, anyone who believes in me will live. John eleven twenty five. What is that Bible verse? I can't find my phone. Can't find my phone. It's like to die is Jane. Because the goal is, you want to be more like Christ, and you want to die to flesh. To live as Christ, I can't remember. It's a beautiful verse, though. Oh, here. Well, I'm looking at this verse to tell you all about. If you want to screenshot that, sorry, I got it. You know, as time goes by, I'll end up getting like set up like cameras and stuff. Right. Crop me out, please. Please me a Bible verse. This is the Bible verse I'm second for now. Let me see. Philippians 1 21. I don't think this is what I'm looking for now. Yeah, 
you know, reading the word, like, you can have people help you, with the, but reading the word is really good, and the word is to be protected. So many people want to get, get rid of the word of God. Yeah, no. Why do we got to get rid of it? If you don't want to read it, don't read it, but don't, you know what I'm saying? And even if you're not, like, you don't believe in Christ, to be honest, like, I don't even know why people don't even like the Word of God. Straight up. <coughs> because it teaches you, like, good, like, how to be a good human being. Period. And anybody should want to be a good human being. The Word of God does not teach us to judge. That's the flesh. The Word of God tells us not to judge. But the flesh comes through and people judge. And obviously that's a struggle for people. Because the word of God wouldn't be sitting there saying, don't judge people if it was that simple and we didn't judge. You know what I mean? Like, And the way I see it is people have different doctrine. They have different denominations. But the importance is we can agree to disagree as long as Christ is being preached because the world needs Christ. We don't need religious views. We don't need all that. All right. Some people like I was in a church and to be honest with you, I love them. I miss them. They were conservative Baptists and they helped God worked through them, even through the struggles and the disagreements and all that. Uh, yeah, they, God seriously worked through them on me and my children, period. And I will defend those people to the T. And I also defend other people to the T with them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just say it's silly how people, people is with church. I'm like, man, you keep on shopping at Walmart. If you had a bad cashier, you ain't going to stop going to Walmart. You're just going to find another cashier to go to. And if the manager, store manager is bad, you're just going to find another Walmart to go to. You ain't going to stop you from going. Unless you just don't want to shop at Walmart. Like, yeah, I don't like Walmart. Alright. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will mean fruit from my labor, yet what I shall choose I cannot tell. For I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart, to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. So yeah, it's a short, like, I wouldn't lie, it's not no suicide call. I would love to be in heaven right now. That's like with Paul, Paul, was persecuted oh my goodness and if he was to be with Christ he would have been out of the flesh out of the pain of the flesh you know what I mean and be with his uh, his brother because that's why uh, actually Christ is our brother and um to be with him and so much peace and joy you know, but, and he was saying, but it's for you, it's needful for me to be here. Oh, God bless. Because sometimes we don't want to be in this world. Like, I know, like me, I get tired of it. I get tired of it really quick. But for you, it's needed. We Because Christ can come back any moment. He hasn't come back yet. But the love of Christ needs to be out. So Christians, as a Christian, which a Christian is just somebody that believes in Jesus Christ. It's not a religion. People turn it into a religion. Like a religious spirit. In a sense, it's a re like we, we really should do a video on that one day. But, because I'm not religious, I'm very spiritual. But I believe there's only one way to God. And I also believe there are other gods, and they're little G's, and those gods get burnt in hellfire, period. And, but, um, but yeah, you know, sometimes I don't want to be here. 
So I hear people, you know, I run, I, a lot of people, also, like, they're just down and they don't want to be in the world. Now I don't want to be in the world either. But I have to be. You know why? Because Christ is giving us, has given us duties to do. He don't need us to do them. He allows us to. And if, and if you leave too early, you, there might be somebody that misses the word of God that only you were, or like, it was only put in your path to help teach them the word, to teach them who Christ is, the love of God, and to save their soul. Because you have two destinations for eternity. You either have hell or heaven. I don't care what anybody tries to tell you. They, they are, they have been blinded by the enemy. When they, tr when people try to tell you that there's no hell, yeah, no, that's, that's crazy. That's nonsense. But, alright, so, let's pull one more. So, like I said, I went on a, woo, it was, it was intense today, y'all. But we got through it. Yeah. Sure did. Let me see. I might end up mixing them up one day. Let's see. It's sweet baby Jesus. We love sweet baby Jesus. Say, say, gotta go to sleep. I hear you, Becky. You better stop talking about me. I have a full-on conversation. I don't worry about what nobody thinks. Girl. <laughs> so she got to be your own best friend. Well, Jesus is my best friend, but... You know what I mean? Like, I'm not... I, I'm not the one that hears word for word Jesus. Like, you know, audibly speaking. And I would never say that, you know, audibly speak to people, like some people will say, or witness people saying that. It's like, how can you tell people how God communicates? But I am going to say that if you hear anything, you need to remember that the enemy is a deceiver. So, just really evaluate it. Alright, can you help one more? We love you, Jesus. We're so proud of you. You stick around this long, dude. You, you, oh, God bless you. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never die. John eleven twenty six. So if you never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, even if it's not your time right now, I just ask that just keep the head knowledge. You know, some people like just knowing facts and stuff. So when it comes to Jesus Christ, um, as a Christian, we believe that the only way to the Father is through the Son, period. He tells us that many will even come before him. That even claim, you know, oh, but didn't we cast out demons in your name? He'd be like, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, I know you not. Which tells you about, you know, there's Antichrist. Anyways, to get to heaven, all you have to do is accept that, uh, accept that you're a sinner. We have all sinned. We have all fallen short to the glory of God, all right? And we're not perfect after we're saved. We... But we are covered in his blood and we do not use the cross as a license, so to speak, to sin. That's ridiculous. And if you think like that, I really recommend you going and uh, don't talking to Jesus because I don't see honestly how a Christian could even think like that. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. But, um, 
But he just acknowledged you're a sinner. We have all sinned and fallen short to the glory of God. That's why he sent his only son and he died a brutal death for us. All right. And you just acknowledge that you're a sinner. If you don't fully understand, it's okay. I didn't fully understand either. I was just going with, at the time, I didn't understand. I was being in, intuitively led. It was intuition. But now I have a greater understanding that it was the Holy Spirit the whole time. I'm just like now, like, I'm a reader. But my spirit guide is the Holy Spirit. My intuition is the Holy Spirit. Um, but yes, so. All you gotta do is acknowledge you're a sinner. If you don't fully understand, that's fine. If you feel a pushing to do it, um, then just do it. And I, I understand that sin sends us to hell for the wages of sin is death. And we, like I said, we have all sinned and fallen short to the glory of God. You gotta be humble to accept this. So simple that a lot of people won't accept it. And um, you just accept. Uh, understand that you're a sinner. Understand that that sin's sending you to hell. But also understand that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever shall call upon him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So all you gotta do is acknowledge you're a sinner. Thank God for sending his son to the cross to die for your sins so you could spend eternity with him. Thank Jesus Christ. Ask him to come into your heart to dwell on you and to teach you his ways. And at your own time, confess your sins to him. Whatever bothers you, that like something that you've done, that's sin. You have such a good heart because you're a child of God. You might not just realize it yet. That's why you bothered by it. Because you are a child of God. And you've always been. You just don't know it. But your flesh must confess it. To cast out everything that's not welcomed in it. To get out the enemy. And so God can dwell in you. And you can join us. Alright. But uh, but yeah. And confess your sin to him at your own time. Alright. I love you.